Hello, Eddie Marcus here again. First, I'd like to say thanks to the Democratic representation for the presidency of the United States, Vice President Harris and Governor from the state of Minnesota, Waltz. You served us well. There's nothing for you to feel embarrassed or shy about. And if you must feel embarrassed, let it be that the people were so deceived that they could not understand what was good for them, what was better for them, and made a choice that they would have to live with. I say, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are listening, is that you, the American people, were set up. You were set up for years. Set up for years. First of all, white power never ceased. It's been structured in every form and fashion, regardless of what steps you think have been made by people who dedicated themselves to a cause, people who gave them lives, gave their lives to a cause. Never ended. And it has been that cancer that has been destroying this nation. Hatred, racism, and bigotry. And it is evidence that this election gives an expression thereof. For over 10 years, you've had before you someone constantly lying to you, someone constantly deceiving you, pointing fingers at others for doing what they themselves are doing. And you bought into every bit of it after year and year and year when there was very few minutes that would pass where the paper or the television station or the radio weren't talking about this guy, allowing him to commit every crime against the people of this country and not prosecuting him, but allowing him to run free and giving him a free stand to clear himself. And he, with that help, the help of the House of Representatives, the help of the United States Senate, the help of the Supreme Court of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this was nothing but a staged thing to lead America straight to hell. To lead America straight to hell because America is blind. America have not been taught the truth. All they have been taught are deceptions. But I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you've had an opportunity to hear the truth. You just didn't recognize it. You have had an opportunity to know that there is a God by the messages that you have received that was able to equate the universe the earth, the resources, and you and your responsibilities to have either a heaven on this earth or a hell on this earth. A few years ago in prison, I wrote a small little pamphlet that I wanted to dedicate to the American people. It's called The Great Escape. The Great Escape, ladies and gentlemen, is about freeing yourself from what you have been had embedded into you to make you think that you were what you aren't. I've also done the same thing, too dumb to fight with truth. You've tried it, but as you can see, this presidential election showing us today, based upon the lies, based upon the deception, based upon the promises of persecution that was made, we the people have not moved away from that. This thing, I am the greatest, talking about the spirit, the spirit of the living God, living in individuals who are familiar with that. Did another pamphlet, The Rebuilding of America. You probably never heard of it, but these kinds of things come when a person cares so much about you, they'll do things to try to get your attention and end up in prison if they don't get your attention. But consider it a blessing to say these are the things that means that I care and not trying to run around talking about I am the greatest since Jesus. That's what Trump tell you. And also, ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is called the final chapter. The final chapter is a good read. I haven't given them to anybody. Just printed them out so when I pass along, maybe you can burn them up. And the golden thing is this. It's called a walk through life from hell to paradise. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, what I speak of peace and prosperity and freedom and joy. I'm talking about stuff that's created by the hands of you, the people, who already create everything. You already create everything, but you create it within a system 
that divides things the way that they do. So they'll become billionaires and millionaires and few heirs and no heirs and people suffering. That's the system that is set up. That's the system that is established. You didn't do it. They did it. And you're just playing hands as if you got no power in it. Your politicians didn't tell you that you had power to change it. Why? They play into it. Your religious order didn't tell you that you had the power to change it. Why in it? Why? Because they play into it as well. And those who have the true spirit of the living power within to give you this information usually are shot down without you getting the message. And so this is the way it is. When those are not, when they are not available to get shot down and everybody's going along with it, you have what you have. 2024 20, introduction to 2025. 20, and you have not seen any hell yet. People before you have seen that kind of hell, but most of them are dead and gone. Now, you who are living today are going to get a taste of the hell that everybody else has gone through while they try to maintain a system that is dehumanizing to human beings. You will see. My job, however, is to promote heaven on earth. My job is to promote everybody having satisfaction in this life. My job is to promote that having that satisfaction means participating in this life, knowing that you are a part of this life, appreciating the fact, accepting the fact, and enjoying the fact. This is my job. To let you know that all the stuff that the Republicans were telling you about is pure D hell. Pure D hell. I don't care what Trump told you, it's all about pure D hell. What the Democrats were hoping for you, even in itself, was hell. It just wasn't pure D hell, but it was hell nonetheless. And what I'm sharing with you about, it does not cause pain and suffering to any of you. But what it does, it gets you engaged so that you can know that when you are eating, that's because you played a part in it. When you are sleeping, it's because you played a part in it. When you're living in houses and driving cars, it's because you played a part in it. When you're traveling around the world, seeing everything that you've never seen before, it's because you played a part in it. When you are not suffering from a lack of anything, again, it's because you played a part in it. You used your power to play a part in creating that which brought complete happiness and satisfaction so you can enjoy the life you used to dream about. Sounds pretty good to me. This is what I bring to you. And my name is Eddie Marcus, and I'm spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. That means every last one of you in America, and every last one of you anywhere else on the face of the earth, if you look like a human being, then I'm talking for you.